hey guys welcome back to the channel so as you can tell i created this look that you see using the ColourPop rock candy eyeshadow palette i also did place an order on ColourPop and picked up a few other goodies and before we jump into the video i did swatch most of the products except for the eyeshadow palette I will be swatching the eyeshadow palette on my TikTok, so if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, definitely follow me. I'll have my TikTok um, in my description box, so go ahead, follow me. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see what the ColourPop Rock Candy looks like on me, then let's go ahead and get into the video. So jumping in, I did do my brows. Y'all excuse the hair, okay? I took this wig off and cleaned it and reinstalled it myself and I am not a hair girl. So, you know, if it's looking a little crusty, you know, I'm gonna fix it at the end. I have the ColourPop Rock Candy Eyeshadow Palette and this is what she looks like. She is a beautiful, mauve cool tone shade you get your neutrals your pinks and your cool tone shades you get some super shock shadows and a couple pressed glitters so i'm not really sure what look i'm going to go for maybe i'm going to use this row but we'll see but i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go into this row so for primer i'm going to take the glam light icing primer this is in mocha and this is definitely similar to the P. Louise base, just like a little bit thicker, not as runny. But I placed a ColourPop order just because I really have been wanting to try um, their cream bronzer that's supposed to be like a dupe for the Janelle bronzer. And my boo sent me a shade but unfortunately it was like a little too light so i just decided to place an order and you know try to do a look with mostly color pop products to be honest i have not really tried any of their complexion um for me color pop is you know just not a brand i usually go for there's usually not enough depth for me for the eyeshadow palettes but they've been doing better um so we're gonna see how i feel about this palette because i don't have any of the color pop mega palettes and out of all of them that dropped the rock candy was definitely something that interested me um, I don't really have anything like that in my collection, and I've been wanting it for a while, so just decided to get it. So I think I'm going to do a halo eye. I'm going to take Lava You, and these names are really cute. So it is super pigmented on my brush, so I'm excited for that. So I'm just going to place that on the outer and inner corners here and it's a good transition i'm gonna try to definitely build this up but yeah i haven't ordered from ColourPop in just like a long time i think it's been probably about two years or so since my last ColourPop order and um yeah, it's been quite a while. I don't know. I think I'm just more of a Morphe type of girl. Um, but so far, this eyeshadow is applying nicely. There is a little bit of fallout in the pan. But that's fine. That doesn't bother me. And this is blending out pretty nicely. It looks really pretty. And purple is really not my vibe, but I'm all about trying to get out of my comfort zone and, you know, changing up the looks. 
So I'm just diffusing upward. And I usually don't do a lot of halo eyes just because um, halo eyes really just make my eyes look more wide and big and usually that's just not the vibe for me but i do like to switch it up so now i'm gonna go into dynamic right here and i'm just gonna keep this lower but i am so ready for the holiday season um I don't know, I just love just all of the makeup like releases for like Christmas and everything like that. I love just fall weather. Trying to put this lower, there we go. And I'm really just going to keep packing this on the eyes and slowly blend it up. But do you guys have any plans for the holidays? Honestly, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to cook for Thanksgiving, I really don't want to. Like, I'm honestly tired of cooking. But I know if I go anywhere, it's going to be, like, really packed. And I just prefer my cooking, unfortunately. Um, so we'll see what happens. And this is definitely building up very nicely. I'm not just, like, going in with a lot of color. I'm slowly just building it up and that is looking very nice and smoky and honestly this is looking very much similar to like the um kylie mauve palette i do have that and i think i used it once i attempted to like film a video but i didn't like how my look came out and it was pretty much like a halo eye like this as well but it just wasn't dark enough honestly if kylie just like had more depth to her products because her products are pretty good if she just had like a little bit more pigment and was like a little bit more inclusive i feel like um her brand would be better and honestly like i'm glad Colourpop is like stepping up their stepping up their game and their quality because I don't remember Colourpop like blending out this nicely like you still have to build it up but that's what makes it so beginner friendly um, but you can also make the shades really intense and pigmented it's just gonna cause you to work a little bit more but everything is blending nicely look at that so beautiful so this is what the eyes are looking like with just those two colors so for the lid i'm gonna be taking this shade right here it's called pep talk or pep talc but you know pep talk. I'm going to apply it dry first just to see the color. And that's really pretty. This is also giving me Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde vibes. And definitely ColourPop excels at their shimmers. And I'm definitely a shimmer girl so I live for the shimmers and I like how the shimmers build up and how just reflective they are and just the shades and tones are so amazing I can definitely um 
feel the fallout from this shimmer. You want to wet your brush. I just wet my brush and I'm just going to blend that. And the eyeshadow pretty much still looks the same. Now I'm just gonna add a liner. And I'm not gonna do a wing today. I'm feeling a little wispy because I still wanna see the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be taking these lashes from the Catherine collection. This is in the style Sophia. I have a foundation and concealer on. I will have um, that listed down in the description box. So we're gonna move on to cream bronzer. Okay, so I picked up two of their cream bronzers but i'm gonna first start off with the bronzer that tatanisha got me this is the soul body face and bronzing balm this is the shade dark so i'm going to swatch these so we can compare them and this has a really nice texture to it um, but that is dark and i'm just going to swatch that on me so as you can see it's definitely um warmer but it's not dark enough to really see a difference on my skin. So I picked up the last two darkest shades, which is Deep and Deep Dark. And this is what Deep looks like. And this is Deep. So that looks like it's going to work very well for my skin. And last but not least is Deep Dark. You really have to swirl in here to get the product. I think when I first tried it, um, that it still had like the top layer. It wasn't um, coming off a lot. But once you get past that top layer, it does pick up product. So maybe that was an issue that I had with the dark shade. And this is Deep Dark. So I feel like I could honestly use all of them. This is just a lot warmer. This is more neutral. And then this would be more of a contour shade for me. Um, I feel like maybe I could get away with this for nose contour. But I'm just going to go and use the shade Deep. I'm just taking my Morphe E63 brush and I'm just going into Deep. And let's see. And you can definitely see that color. Yeah, this is honestly probably the perfect shade for me without doing too much. Very natural and I feel like you can definitely build this up. So we're just gonna add a little bit more. But yeah, this is honestly just perfect for me and I wear like 420 in Fenty, so if you're like similar to my complexion, um, this is perfect. Still, it's not too dark, it's not too warm, and it's giving natural. And I still think this is natural enough to use for nose contour. Usually I like to go a little bit lighter for nose contour, but I think this should be fine. And this is very blendable. I'm not really having any issues with it. It's definitely a little bit more slippery. I would say it's a lighter version of the LYS cream bl cream bronzer kind of has that type of consistency because I believe there is like an oil in both of them to help give that slip so it's easily blendable. I'm just going to set the rest of my face and then um, we're going to work on the lower lash line the matte bronzer and then the lips okay so the face is set and before i bake i like to apply my bronzer 
So I have the ColourPop Matte Bronzer. And this is the darkest shade in Moonlight Beach. And this is Moonlight Beach. So she's giving much very warm, very red. I would say that this is very similar to like the Morphe Prodigy um, shade. And I have not tried that. Um, so let's see how this applies. So I'm going to take the Morphe E4 and I'm dipping into this shade. There is a lot of fallout in the pan. So make sure you tap that off because it's going to be messy. Um, and let's see. Yeah, she's pretty warm. Which is what you want in a bronzer. Ooh, she's very red. And I usually like a more neutral bronzer, but this was, I think, the darkest shade. And I think for ColourPop, I just never know, like, if their products are for me. Because it's like, I really shouldn't be, like, the darkest shade for brands. And I think I'm just, like, a regular, like, brown skin girl. I don't really think I'm, like super deep in complexion um so if this is like the darkest shade like that's that's exactly what i'm talking about and that's exactly why i don't really buy from ColourPop like that but this bronzer is blending out really nice and it did give a nice you know bronzy color to the face the bronzer goes very well with the blush um and i'm using a really light hand i'm not trying to you know add i'm not trying to add like too much because sometimes i can get like really heavy handed with bronzer so i'm trying to just like keep it like to a minimum <laughs> so i'm gonna be a little scared because i'm gonna actually use this same bronzer to set my nose contour so i'm just gonna lightly tap and i mean the mirror on this thing is really super clear so i definitely love that and makes the bronzer like for the price it's so good um and this is super blendable You just gotta be very careful because it's definitely pigmented let's work on this lower lash line so i'm gonna go back into lava you and i'm just going to apply that here and on the inner corner kind of doing like a halo eye on the bottom and dragging it down and i'm just leaving space in the center of the eye and now i'm taking dynamic and pressing that along the lower lash line and now i'm taking pep talk and i am spraying my brush and now we're just going to pop that into the center right here just to have it match. And now I'm just gonna take the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. This is Dark 18. And I'm just taking the Ariel A14 and I'm just going to dust off that powder underneath the eyes. and that looks so beautiful so flawless so smooth and i'm just going to dust off this area with no added product this is what we're looking like right now so we're going to do highlighter i have three different highlighters that i'm going to choose from so i have the soul body shimmering body highlighting powder this is the shade warm gold 
and honestly i really don't know like what these shades look like because it's been a minute since i've used them um but these you can use on your body and face so this is a warm gold i'm gonna swatch her here oh she is beautiful then i have golden and this is definitely a lot more bronzy as you can see i haven't even touched this one so let's see what she's giving oh she's definitely like that yellow bronzy gold oh that's so beautiful and the last highlighter that i have from colourpop is going to be from the colourpop barbie collection this is the super shock highlighter so this is different than the other two and it's that mix this is definitely that super shock formula and you can see that so it's very similar to this one just not as glittery so they all are very pretty if you don't like a glittery highlighter, then definitely don't get the sole body ones, but they are meant for the body. But I think I'm actually going to use warm gold and maybe a little bit of the Barbie highlighter, but I'm just going to tap it all into here and it's so pretty. You can see the glitter on here and I'm just going to lightly apply her just because I don't want any grabbing in one spot. Oh, that's very reflective, very pretty. It's definitely more chunky because this is a body highlighter, so it's not going on the smoothest. So you definitely want to use like more tapping motions on the face to apply everything because I find when I wipe like this, it kind of focuses it in one spot. And now to kind of just like smooth it out a little bit, I'm gonna go into the Super Shock Highlighter and mix her and just apply that. See, that looks so much better. Just a little bit. So I did pick up two lip liners. I picked up the shades Pitch and Control. These are their lippy pencils and I've never tried these shades. So this is the packaging. It's super cute. I love the packaging, how it's all one color. So this is Control and I'm gonna swatch them. So that is Control and this is Pitch. So I think I'm gonna use both lip liners. I'm gonna start with control. And I'm just gonna apply that onto the lips. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Oh, that's really nice. That is literally perfect. I might not even need to use pitch. Because this is so perfect. Normally, um, I have BFF4, but I don't think they make that shade anymore. Um, so if you're looking for a nice, affordable lip liner from ColourPop, Definitely control is the way to go. 
and I absolutely adore their liquid lipsticks, their matte ones specifically, and this is their OG shade that they had when they first launched. This is going to be the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, and this is in the shade Beeper, okay? Very pretty, that nice um, mauve pink, so I'm going to apply her. and this is what the face is giving so far so i'm just going to set my face and do my hair and i'll be right back this is the final look guys what do you guys think so for me i think i might have to eat my words about ColourPop because everything went on great i have no complaints i'm really loving this lip i love how the eyes came out and the cheek products blended really nice the face products worked so well so blendable and yeah i think i'm gonna have to start back using ColourPop because they are definitely really nice do i think that they still need to work on some of their you know their ranges yes um but everything worked out great for me um and I could not be happier. Um, I feel like I'm giving Alter Ego um, The Little Mermaid, okay? Like, if Ariel had, like, a evil twin sister, I feel like that would be me. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.